this has been a common trend for Samsung, but this really, really, really needs to stop. Let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So over the past few years, we all know that Samsung uses two different chipsets for their flagship S and Note series, which are the Snapdragon SoC and Exynos SoC. And people in regions like the US and Canada actually get the Snapdragon chipset, while the rest of the world, including UK and Nigeria, gets the Exynos chipsets. And over the past few years, these two chipsets have actually differed in performance, where in most cases, the Snapdragon is more powerful and outperforms the Exynos. Everyone knows that, but one thing that a good amount of you all don't know is that this difference in performance also moves over to the image quality. Yes, I was really shocked and actually disappointed when I made my research on this and watched a few videos before I actually came to my final conclusion with the results. And I'll tell you this later in the video, but First, let me show you some samples that I got from Danny Winget's recent video. It will be linked in the description. And I really love the video because I actually waited for all the major updates to reach the phones before he carried out his tests. And here are the samples. Firstly, it's almost unbelievable that these two photos were taken on something that is marketed as the same phone. Like with this pic now, we see that overall the Exynos moves to the cooler side while the Snapdragon moves to the warmer side. And Looking at them, of course the Snapdragon looks better from the ultra wide camera and Exynos, well, not so much. But again, from the main lens, we can see some saturation on the Snapdragon, but the Exynos looks more natural. I really don't know why, but either way, something in the middle of these two photos would have definitely been the best. And um, also in zoom, uh, we can see that the Snapdragon has more details, but the Exynos has more natural looking colors because man, the sea is not, when I say not, I really mean not dark blue. So second to the last is the night mode and this is um where you can actually see less difference between the two cameras and uh, if you look here, you see that at the trees, the Snapdragon is actually a bit more warmer and in this case has more details. But if you look at the tiles, you also see that difference that I'm telling you. And as if that's like not enough, then over to the portraits, this is where you see the highest difference with the two devices, with the Snapdragon falling short of the Exynos overall and in almost every single scenario. And this is actually bad because most tech reviewers who did camera tests actually used the Snapdragon variant and they all came up with the conclusion that the iPhone has more portraits effects than the snapdragon with than the s21 ultra which has the snapdragon chipset but no nobody like basically almost nobody tested it with the exynos so yeah and uh, this is actually very disappointing and i really really hope that samsung will finally use one major chipset or find a way to actually fix this difference in socs with their next flagship because this is just straight out wrong Send this to someone who really needs to see this. Tell me what you think about it down in the comment section and I'll catch you next time. Peace.